Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here, and today I'm going to show you three ways of using special characters, such as emojis, in Windows 10. The first method uses what's called the emoji keyboard. To make it appear, hold down the Windows key and the period key, e.g. the full stop key, on your keyboard. So now there's all these emojis here, and I'll just click on a couple of them, and you can see that they appear right in my document. If I click on the Omega symbol, then I can get all of these other special characters like copyright, registered trademark, etc. The one thing to be aware of with the emoji keyboard is that in certain applications, such as Notepad, the symbols with colour will only appear in black and white. The second method involves the use of alt codes. In other words, you hold down the alt key on your keyboard and press a series of numbers that correspond to a particular special character. Now, you can't use the top row of numbers because they won't work. You need to use the numeric keypad. On a desktop computer, this is very simple. Just make sure that NumLock is engaged. On some laptops, you'll find that the numeric keypad is embedded in with the letters. But just keep in mind that not all of them have this feature. Now, if I want to enter a copyright symbol, I just hold down ALT and on the numeric keypad type 0169 and look at that, it appears. For a registered trademark symbol, the code is 0174. If you go to this website, altcodes.net, you can find the entire list of all the codes that are available. One particularly useful one I found on there is a way to make a bulleted list in Excel. Just hold down ALT press 7, and there is your bullet. Now the third approach to using special characters is the good old trusty character map. Firstly, press the Windows key and R on your keyboard. This will bring up the Run dialog box. Now type char map and press Enter. The character map will open and you can see all of the symbols it contains. But you can't use them directly, you've got to select them and then copy them. So I'll click on the registered trademark and select that. And a couple of other symbols and select them as well. And then once I've got all the symbols I want, I'll just click the copy button. Then I can paste them into my editor of choice. So that's the three ways to use special characters and emojis in Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Handy Andy and thank you very much for watching.